Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Captain of Industry. We're going to slow things down a little bit today. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't say that with a straight face. <laughs> uh, we're going to solve our fuel problems today. At least I hope that we're going to solve the fuel problems today. So fuel is a big issue, and the core of that fuel problem is uh, oil. Now, I have a little bit of a surplus, and uh, that's great. But um, that's because I turned everything off, and so now everything's back on, and we're going to start draining fuel again, right? Isn't that great? Yeah. We are also now officially out of oil here. That's a problem. Uh, however, we're getting deconstruction efficiency started on the on the research tree, and so uh, once this is done, then I can get an extra 10% more products back when I uh, deconstruct stuff, which is really great because we're going to be deconstructing this giant long ass pipe today and I want 10% more back when I do. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get that going. Now, after the deconstruction efficiency happens, um, I'm actually going to try something here. I, I want to show you how this works. So see the progress we have so far on this, see the different colors. I just want to verify and show you if I cancel this, it cancels everything else in the tree too. All right. Then I can start it back up and it picks up right where it left off. So you do save your progress. Okay want to put that in there now now we could use biofuel allows us to use our potatoes make the whole fuel gas compost all right now it's compost um then we take the fuel gas we mix it with o2 right get diesel that way we, we could go that route and it might be a good idea to go that route uh for a little bit but i i, I, I want to try not doing that i want to try leaving food as food just for a little while and uh we're gonna take advantage of some additional resources on our island that i did not want to tap into yet but i will first let's queue up a couple more research projects we're gonna go steel smelting we're gonna go construction three after that i'm gonna go right to cargo depot and that's really the reason why i'm going down this tree because i need to do this to get to here i really need this cargo ship to have more capacity it's just it's just not doing it for me all right all right now after that i would like to go after and get water recovery then we're going to take another detour up to uh sulfur processing followed up with chemical plant and fertilizer then go to research lab three and then only then do we get the good stuff that i've been hoping to get and that's thermal desalination and power generation three i need this more than i need this so we're going to do that and then this okay now i just also we need this too so i should probably ooh ooh actually yeah no mm. naphtha processing will probably be, be more useful to me because i can make steam from the naphtha uh-huh okay we'll, we'll try that and then we'll go here and here okay so that's good research for now here's what i'm gonna do we have a major oil problem it's it's bad it's it's a real bad problem also also let's put this up i have the worker shortage too so uh can i get more pops nine are there people loaded into the ship yet no mm, uh yeah so i want to upgrade this and um i think i'm going to upgrade you um that's a lot of gold parts and i kind of need the gold parts in the beginning so maybe not right now but I'd like to. Um, I'm, I'm going to need more population as well. And I think donating 80 of them to here just so I can start getting this pop is probably a good idea. But um, we do have some edicts active. And I wanted to show you that too. Right now, people are getting colds. Happen naturally, cannot be avoided. Everybody, People are having a cold. I have population growth active, so we should be getting more people. I'm also giving them more food. To help with the maintenance offset there and then obviously fuel saver is still a thing too uh okay well, last thing i want to do before we're uh gonna start on advanced diesel and fixing our, our fuel issues is this our fluid storage uh we got a bit of a problem with water being kept up over here part of this i think is just like this is taking the water right and uh you know our citizens and stuff need water to drink and everything to keep that going. I can also delete this now. It's not needed. This whole thing can go. Bye-bye. And uh, we can now add another one of these. So I'm going to put in another one right next to it. We're going to delete this pipe all the way out to here. 
to make room for it. And then we're going to upgrade this pipe because we have to. And we have to. I think this is the real reason why our water's short here. We're just not able to pump it in fast enough anyway. Like we're like, look, this is a level three pipe on the outflow, but the inflow is only level one, right? Like that's whoops. <laughs> that's just a big whoops. So we're fixing that. Um, but I'm also going to add this extra thing here just to really drive it home, you know, making sure we can keep up on that. So there we go. Uh, hey, can I have that pipe? Thank you much. Just like that. Okay. Okay. That's fixed. Now we should see the water problem go away. So next thing to do is talk about fuel now i've had them starting to make some of the infrastructure in here but now i want them to build everything from this point uh i think i want them to build everything from this point here like this all of this should get built all right then what we're gonna do is i'm gonna delete this and this we're gonna go a little bit lower on this okay we're not gonna be able to support this many i don't think i've just been thinking about it and i'd rather not lay this in quite as adventurously i'm gonna go with adventurously that's my word now leave me alone okay so we're gonna have this be less adventurely okay and it's gonna give me room for storage tanks over here which is what i'm really gonna need i'm gonna need that storage so the next thing not sure why you're not being deleted hi can you just go away now thanks um the next thing over here is to figure out where all the tanks are gonna be so we need a lot of tanks we need an awful lot of stuff to happen here. So uh, the couple of things, one thing we need to have happen is uh, I think we need to pump more water into this pipe. So we're going to upgrade that pipe. And I think I also want to upgrade at least a portion of this pipe too. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to pull you and you back like so. Okay. And I'd like to do it right here too, if I could, please. You just, yep, right there, yep. Okay, now I'm pulling that back, right? So I can put in a pipe balancer. I want the pipe balancer right there. And I want you pipes to be upgraded. You're, be, you're gonna be upgraded pipes like that. Mm -hmm. Build this, build this, and build this. Then we're going to upgrade you and I don't need this one upgraded yet, but I may choose to do so. Um, I know this right here is a three, but it doesn't really matter. This one though matters. I'm gonna get this upgraded. So now we have this able to pump more water this way and more water can flow this way, which is really great. It also means that we have a balance. So if this isn't providing anything, we can still provide to both pipes from this side if we need to. So they're gonna work a little bit closer together. But the big thing this is going to let me do is it's going to let me do this. Come out and up. And we're going to head straight over the top here, alongside here. And we're going to have, actually, I think you're going to stay level two. Yeah. Stay level two. Follow this belt so you don't take up any extra space on the road for the trucks. And we're going to put you right here. Oh, actually, that's good, actually. Right there. Yep and right here and then we're gonna drop you down underneath here you see where i'm going here underneath the bridge all the way maybe i could go over top of the belt but nah it's fine this should i believe this should work at this point right here no you're not gonna yep right there nope nope go back the way you had it was good there you go no not gonna let me, huh? Why aren't you just a big jerk face? Can we go level one? I thought I could go through here. Maybe I have to come back. Maybe I have to go around the outside here. Well, I, I don't get what I want. All right, should I cry about it or should I fix it? Uh, how about we should, yeah, let's go across here. I guess we'll go across here. It's not what I wanted, but it will work. And that's kind of the the way my life is going right now <laughs> uh, in this game. Okay, so um, this is gonna be where the water supply comes in, right? And we're gonna have a water tank right here. Now, it's gonna be a little bit cramped in here. I, I'm aware. It's very tight in here. And uh, that's a pity, but I'm gonna make it just a little bit better. 
by taking this pipe away. It's really not needed anyway. We're not getting enough oil in here anyway. And uh, we're gonna bring this like so. That just opens up a little bit more possibilities in this area, okay? And then we'll bring this all the way over like so. I'm leaving this open so we can connect something else to it later if needed, okay? Okay, I said okay enough times. I think we're good. This is gonna be water, okay? And what the water tank's gonna do, of course, it's gonna feed the system that needs water, right? These buildings are building very fast. I was not anticipating the trucks being this fast with this. Okay, you guys are too quick for me. Um, the next thing you need to do, it's, it's good that these trucks are very enthusiastic because we're gonna need them to be now. Um, we're gonna set up a supply over here because we are completely out of oil on that side and we're relying on a ship, which is nice, but it's like, yeah, it's not going fast enough for me. So we're gonna take advantage of the second oil reserve over here. Um, I wasn't going to do this yet, but I've changed my mind about oil drilling, okay? I've decided that oil drilling is, is a good thing. I know, this, this world, man. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna go with a big pipe there. I re We really don't need the big pipes, to be honest, um, because it's, uh, they're gonna be pumping it faster than the trucks can move it anyway, but whatever. Uh, this pipe is going to take it, I think just right here is fine. I mean, the, the difference is pretty negligible on what you're going to be doing, but I just want to kind of get it a little bit closer to him, I guess. So we'll go like that, I guess. Um, we're going to take fluid storage two. Okay. Maybe we just, nah, it's gold parts. I have tons of regular construction parts. So let's just stack the, we'll just stack the, the tanks. It's fine. We're going to go three tanks, three tanks full here. And like that okay so let's go ahead and deliver this deliver this deliver this getting so so close now the reason i'm doing this now oh that was stupid um the reason i'm doing this now and wasn't doing it before okay because I, I could have done this a long time ago right but it would have been very inconvenient to do it a long time ago let's just do this unity please I keep forgetting that Unity tool is there. It wasn't there before, and I just like, nah, it doesn't exist. <laughs> All right. Now, the reason why I'm doing this now, um, instead of, you know, when I do, could have done it before, is because now I can assign trucks specifically to storages. We have the advanced, uh, is it advanced logistics? What's that called? Advanced logistics control. We have that now. That just happened. So I can now say, assign this many trucks. Okay. And what we're gonna say is, hey, keep this empty. We're gonna tell them to keep this empty as their main priority. Then we're gonna come all the way over here and I'm gonna pick a, pan pick a tank, any tank. How about this one? I'm gonna tell them to keep it full, okay? And that's it. And then what we're gonna do finally is we take this tank and we connect it with a route like this to this tank. And now just like that, there are now trucks assigned over here their entire job, the only thing they do all day, is to take oil from this tank and drive it an excruciatingly long distance all the way over here and dump it in this tank. Then they come back and do it all over again. That's the entire purpose of their existence now. Pretty nice, right? That's what they're going to do for us. So hopefully, hopefully that does something. Now, could I pipe it all the way here? Y yeah, I, I could. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it. It's, um, no. I mean, if, if I must, if the trucks are just not keeping up and it's just looking like there's just no way, then maybe we'll look at it, but I doubt it. Deconstruction efficiency just finished. So we should be able to get even more construction parts for this now. So let's take a look. We're going to go like this and I'm going to go all the way. Oh, look at this number rise. 150, 200, 250. 300 construction parts. Oh, yeah. And we get even more because we don't need any of this stuff here either. So this can go bye-bye. 299 construction parts. And you can go bye-bye as well. See ya. Uh-huh. And then this one can go as well. That is good. Look at all the construction parts for me. This takes 5.6 unity to remove. I don't need them right away. We do have a good supply here, so I'm gonna let them remove this with the trucks because they can do it here. They don't have to go all the way over here to grab those 
This is all one big construction project, so they should be able to do it from anywhere. They shouldn't have to drive. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, you can do it from here. Good. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, while I still have some, well, I don't actually. I was going to do it while I still had some gold construction parts, but unfortunately I don't yet. Um, I need more. Can I get people? Please, people. Can people come? I should explore. If I explore, there could be a population. Oh, this beacon is working and there's no refugees available. Feels bad, man. Let's get rid of the beacon so we don't use the unity. Um, and then I'm going to load crew against my better wishes. And we're going to go... Please be somewhere that has people. I need people. I'm going to go here. I'm probably... Probably going to regret that, but I'm going to go there. Uh, okay. Hopefully there's a population there. We can bring them back. Otherwise, I just wasted some fuel and... I obviously don't like wasting fuel right now. Okay. I need to make some changes here. So with all this stuff up, it's time to take a look. Now, these have changed from the last version of the game. And they have changed. And it's it's a very small change, but it makes a huge difference. Enormous. Um, almost to the point where I disagree with the change. But I don't get to make the rules. So this is what the change is. These buildings, the still, distillation one, two, and three they now consume power they didn't used to do this so you used to have a way of making fuel with this system as long as you brought the oil in you could have fuel made and all your raw resources made and there was zero power consumption they apparently thought that that was too strong also now everything has power which means we won't be able to keep the system up unless we keep our power up so keeping the power up becomes even more vital than it was before i'm going to go ahead and unlock this and I'm also going to do this. Let's connect you here and upgrade you to a tier two pipe. We'll let you build this when you're done. Uh, when they decide to build this, then we'll have even more power. I mean, we're good on power for now, right? This system is purring really, really well, just the way it is. But we're going to get that one built anyway because we can. And hopefully that will keep all these flywheels spinning very fast. Because the faster they spin, the more efficient it is. So we want them to just, you know, keep spinning. We also have them balanced, though. So uh, with the balance, these aren't going to run all the time, which means they're not going to use resources all the time. Okay. Okay. So let's see where are we are. Where are we at? So this this water pipe, right? We're building the water pipe coming in, and all of this is happening. I do want this these pipes here to be the priority pipes. Okay. Now, that probably means that this isn't going to receive anything yet. Um, for now, that's fine, because there's no reason to send water that way. Uh, I'm also thinking... I'm looking at the coal supply with question marks in my, in my head here. All right. So now that we've moved this, we're also going to, I think, do the same thing on this side, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four... So I, I think we actually should remove these on this side too. It makes sense. We'll do uh, eight of these because I, because they take power, you can't really do as much as you could before. Like you, 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 I'm trying to do double what I had before and I, I was having a power problem before. So uh, I'm just inviting all sorts of pain. Not to mention they take, you know, labor and stuff too. So, okay. So on this side, this is our heavy oil tank. We're going to go ahead and let that build so I can get it, you know, looking at it. And of course, the heavy oil is coming in on this pipe here. Now, the pipe could be moved potentially because of uh, there not being any system here anymore. But I'm, uh, I'm going to leave it alone for now. We'll see. This pipe also doesn't need to exist. Yeah, this pipe can go away too. Goodbye. Gives me more gold parts. Very nice. When I get a little bit of supply on gold parts, then I'm going to move and expand upon our gold parts production because we have a lot of regular, uh, a lot of regular construction parts. Speaking of which, why don't we go ahead and expand that storage right here? Man, we just cannot make these fast enough. I want to expand this. That's what I was going to do with the gold parts. But as you can see, we are short on supply here. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at this um, if I break all of this down right now 
We just... I don't have a means, right, to continue making them. So I'm going to have to do this really quickly. So we'll take away this belt. Take away this belt. We should be getting some gold parts for this. Let's go ahead and do this really quickly. And we're left with 40... Let's just pull this all the way back. It's fine. We're left with, like, 41, basically. Yeah, 41 gold parts. Okay. With the 41 gold parts we have, we can make one... One more mechanical thing, right? Uh, I believe this cost me 40. It's 30. Okay. We might be able to make this work. Um, I want to start, I think, maybe here, right up next to this. I'll leave a space for the people who think I need one. <laughs> I'll put one here, here, and here. Now, obviously, we don't need to have these two operating just yet. We want to focus our attention on one so that we can maintain our means of production. However, um, I think we'll have you come out about like this, and then I'll put you in the middle side, put you in the middle, and then put you over and in the middle like that. You are going to go up to level one, height one. There we go, and then come on over like so, into there, into there, and into there. And that feeds this system so that we can make three times as many uh, gold parts. Now we want to, of course, focus the belts so that we don't overspend here. So we'll have that built, that built, and this built. That should maintain our means of production, and we have two to spare we go you are going to be making these and i want you boosted okay now we need this to be p1 so they keep making it <clears throat> all right now on this side it's for storages i do want storage unit two but that takes gold parts so let's build we'll, we'll upgrade them later so we're going to put this right alongside here and i think it's probably going to be like right here I think, is that enough space i think i called that right yes i did just enough okay so then this is the hard part right uh we're going to build this for now. It's not that hard. This part's not that hard. Um, but it's this part that's hard. We're going to have the, con the conveyor belts. Oh, it needs to connect here, though. And it won't because of this junction. All right. So pro tip. <laughs> if you want to connect them. Oh, we, we did this with the pipes, didn't we? Um, okay. You know what? Never mind. Here, let's just... Fine, I'll give you guys extra room, okay? So sad. You see how sad I am? You made me make extra space. It's depressing. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's going to be spaced out appropriately. Now we'll just take you and connect you there. Yep, and then you go there. And you go there. Okay, but you are going to be built like this. That's construction parts too. Okay. I guess we can quick deliver these two. It's fine. And then once we create additional construction parts, once we have them all done and they're in the system and ready to rock, then we'll start building out the belts uh, and we'll get start getting this prioritized. So I want that prioritized so that this can kick it into storage and then we can start using it. Uh, or they'll do it out of order because that's a thing they can do as well. Yeah. Sweet. Let's unpause these. If you want to build them, then build them. I'm good with it. Uh, okay. So anyway, once they finally do get this built, then um, all of this begins to just take place here. So we don't want this to be imported, and we don't need any imports or exports here. It's all going to take place right here, and we don't even need any imports here. We can get by with it. Well, yeah, like that. Good. All right. That takes care of the gold parts, right? They will build this out. Uh, on their own good time now. Let's come back over here. So, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not stalling per se, but like we need workers anyway to work these places, so I can't be in a super big hurry. Lots of oil coming in, good. And location explored, population, corn seeds. I don't know why I'm so excited about corn. I just am, okay? <laughs> like the least nutritious it's like nothing food there's like nothing in it <laughs> load this cargo might as well load it in on the way back right uh and we'll bring the population back here and then we have workers we have good amount of workers it's gonna feel good okay 
let's 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 get this done okay if we can we have oil already in here which is good however this is being imported with trucks right now i believe because oil is not hooked up to this so we do need to do something about that um and we will the oil is going to come off of this pipe system for now it's gonna have to be adjusted later but for now it's gonna come off out of here and it's gonna come right through this little gap and it's gonna hook up to this this is where our oil yeah this is where our oil comes in right there okay and then all we need to do is connect it is to make this a level two and that's that's really all that needs to happen from there um and you know we could make this a level two as well uh do we need that no because this is already level two yeah this is already level two leading that way so it doesn't matter um but this is going to stay paused because i don't want to take oil away from the existing infrastructure that's making me fuel just to send it someplace that isn't ready yet okay don't want to do that so um first let's go ahead and pause these so we have labor around the base in places that it needs to happen okay um so what we're going to do is we're going to route the rest of these pipes i have a water pipe right here this big sort of it's not that big but it's this long pipe right here it's running all the way across to, to here this is a water pipe okay and what's going to happen is the water supply from this tank is going to get is going to feed it's going to go this way first actually then there then there nope can you can you do it i can you yep mm -hmm. and good thank you um we're gonna do that so the water supply is coming in from across the map all the way over there see apparently they didn't respect my wishes they probably did uh, it's probably that these pipes are full yeah they are which is good these pipes being full is you know it's great um maybe we upgrade this because it is fully saturated and that means we probably could go ahead and upgrade this one too just to make sure this thing's getting the water it needs we obviously have two level one pipes coming through here and uh they're meeting into this so i, I think this is probably fine for the time being we could consolidate this to a single level one eventually um but i didn't have level two at the time of building it so whatever number four is up balanced rocking and rolling everything's spinning super fast slow down time this is this is what it's actually spinning like but i love the way it looks when you speed up time and you just it's, like, it's really cruising right it's awesome okay stop getting distracted and focus <laughs> oil comes in here good now what else comes through here well we have sour water coming out of here. I currently have nothing I can do with sour water. So for the time being, we're going to be hearing that a lot lately. Uh, this is like, this is going to be like the main thing I say for the next, I don't know, probably six episodes for the time being, uh, we'll be heading, uh, this way. I don't want to get in the way of the upgrades here though. That's the problem. Let's back this off and we'll go you know what let's just go like this i do want to be at level two really quickly though let's just run along here for now yeah and we'll take it all the way over here yeah we'll, we'll say that that's where we want this pipe to be it's level one right yeah and then we need a liquid dump unfortunately the sour water has to be dumped in the water and like for now we're gonna have this dump be here i don't like it there at all but that's where it is lines up right there okay so we'll deliver that uh deliver that we, we, we don't need to do this in a hurry i don't know why i keep doing that it's a habit you know i don't need these in a hurry because we're not this isn't operating yet but it's about to be by the end of this video this is gonna be cruising uh okay so the next step then if i want these to actually be cruising i need these unpaused uh i need this unpaused i don't really need any of the pipes to be paused if i'm being honest because the pipes they don't take maintenance if we have the parts just build them it's not a big deal um yeah let that run what i'm most concerned with is this pipe here this pipe is very important because this is our main fuel dis delivery pipe okay so 
I'm actually going to connect this for now. It's going to eventually be connected, but I just want it connected now. If I did this correctly, I should be able to get a pipe straight through on level two all the way in and connecting to that. So let's see how I did on that. Um, this is level two. Yep. We're going to go this way. You have to go one level if you're wondering. Um, it may not be something that you're actually wondering, but pro tip for you guys who are placing pipes and stuff, you can connect this directly with a junction as long as there is a full, is like as, as long as it's completely flat, basically. So I'm going to go here. And then if I lift it up right away, that will not be flat. I won't be able to connect to that. But if I go one space first and then up, I will now be able to connect to that at the bottom because I've made a full flat tile before going up, right? So there you go. There's your pro tip of the day. I should, I think, be able to get through here. What is... Uh, I thought I had this figured out, but maybe I don't. Maybe it's level three? No, it's definitely level two. You know what? I'm just going to be okay with it and let him hop. Or maybe I could just go underneath. It, it shouldn't matter to me, should it? No, I should just, I just should just connect it. Yeah, right here is the pipe I need. This one. So how about we go yeah, straight through like this and then connect to this pipe here. That's fuel delivery. And that needs to be built uh, with a bit more haste, I think. Did we get this hole torn down? Yes. Look at this. It's as if we were never here. Talk about your cleanup crew right there, huh? <laughs> Very good. Love it. Um, you guys are still flattening this. That's nice. I think we'll keep going with that idea out that way too. Uh, but we're going to want to start building down pretty soon. I'm going to use retaining walls through here, like I said before, to kind of protect this. Trucks are very busy. But are they bringing the oil? That's the question. Are they delivering the oil I requested? There should be a, a steady flow of oil from trucks. They should just be constantly... Uh-huh. Should be constantly coming in here and delivering it. Get it in there. Let's go. Make the make the fuel, please. I like seeing colors on this tank. That's a, that's a new fresh... It's a very fresh feeling seeing that. Uh, okay, Steam. How's Steam working, right? Well, obviously, heavy oil is going to get delivered here. In order to do that, we need to put it into this tank. So the heavy oil comes off of this, uh, connects to this pipe like this, comes all the way around into this. And yeah, we should see that as the primary right there. If I don't select this, then this will de deliver it kind of evenly. And that means we're gonna be burning half our supply. So I wanna prioritize on this junction right here so that it always goes into this tank before it goes to get burned. It will only burn heavy oil if this tank is full, which is what I want. So um, this is gonna feed into this, which then gets deposited into these two gas boilers. Two gas boilers then feed their steam supply into this, which has a priority of feeding this machine. It was gonna feed these two machines and now it's just gonna feed this one here. I could clean that up. I could. Uh, I don't wanna do that though, hang on. I could clean this up by going uh, like this. Yeah. Delete this really quick. Uh, let's delete this. Is that where the oil goes in? That's where the steam goes in, right? So we're just gonna wrap that and go tight right there. But we also have deliveries for steam being made over here into this pipe, okay? So this piping system needs to be kind of unpaused as well, don't we? We just need to like unpause all of this stuff, basically. And uh, so what we have, because we have pipe balancers, we have this kind of a unique opportunity to really balance everything. That's the nature of pipe balancers. They can balance things, which is great. I also think we should probably get both of the coal up and running too. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to sustain this with just oil, right? So let's just make sure we get all of this done. And honestly, if there's a way to build this with Unity right now, can I build uh, everything here with Unity? 
if you'll allow it. Doesn't look like I can do much. Just the pipes, huh? How about that? Can I do that? It looks like I can deliver some of the resources, but not all of them. But okay, it's fine. Anyway, um, I, I need this pipe up and running too. So hopefully they get on the pipes. Hopefully we're able to make parts a little bit quicker now. Wow, we are not done with this yet? You gotta be kidding me. Go. Yep, you. Uh, let's just take the settings from this and copy it to these two. Should have should have been copied. Yeah, there it is. And I think I want to boost you. I want you to go as fast as possible. We got this upgraded so we can store more construction parts. This is awesome. There we go. We just finished steel steel smelting research. How are we doing on um, this stuff anyway? Lab equipment is just purring, man. We're doing awesome. That's the, the long and short of it. We're doing awesome. And over here, too. Just cruising on the parts. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's good to check in once in a while on these things. Um, I did stop most of my rubber production. And um, I think I'm going to stop all of it just to let that fuel catch up. It's not really catching up yet. So we're going to stop once more all the rubber, which is what I did a little earlier. And that lets the fuel build up. If I stop the rubber entirely, fuel can build up pretty well. Um, it's just about when I turn the rubber on, everything goes to shit. So um, what I'd like to do is, is, is get all this ready and done and working. And then I can turn the rubber on and it doesn't go to shit. <laughs> Preferably, I think uh, the outcome in which things don't go to shit would be <laughs> preferred. Uh, okay, I don't know why you... Oh, you're not paused. It's here. Um, if in case you're wondering also for this, um, these pipes are just going to merge in here. So like, I'll, I'll end up doing, going like this uh, and connecting like that. And then this one will connect like this. Um, and then when we get to tier three pipes, we'll just upgrade this tiny section. And then all that's fine. So it saves me time upgrading pipes later by having four of them along like this. Um, I could have realistically put them two, two over each other like this. I could have like, you know, stacked them, but yeah, whatever. It looks good. It looks fine. Uh, okay, so this is for what resource? Is this the sour water? Yes, sour water. Just going up, and that pipe is done, and we're going to deliver it there. Perfect. So the sour water on this side then needs to go uh, up and at them. So we'll have it. Uh, shoot. Looks to me like the sour water is going up here. No, this is something different. I wish I could see this. Okay, that's steam. Right, you're not sour water. You silly, you're not sour water. This is the sour water. It's always the bottom one. Like, I don't know why I was having a hard time figuring that out. I, I'm the one that made this stupid system. Uh, let's go here. And I'm going to have to go out like that and then up. Like that, just so I don't getting in the way of the rest of the stuff. All right, now you are gonna go like this and connect there, and then you can now connect there. So this is gonna obviously, as you know, we're gonna get uh, those things connected, working, hopefully. There we go, yep. I believe we're really close to starting here. It's all about the, the it's all about the steam now. So the steam gets routed through these pipes from the coal. And the coal is supposed to distribute it everywhere. You know, if, if wherever it needs it extra, it's going to go. But for the time being, <laughs> this pipe is going to need to be reversed. We'll toggle that direction. And that's going to send the steam into here. Um, and then it's going to send it out this way, which is good for these machines too. But I would like to make sure that we are also sending it down into here. Uh, and maybe we can just, yeah, like that. That's gonna, again, allowing us to pipe balance, right? Allows us to balance the supply. And so now steam can come from here and get into this, which can go immediately to this, um, or it can continue on forward ho and uh, end up going all the way through to that side as well. And then in order for us to have this steam go that way, we'll need this pipe. We can probably just do it. Uh, 
Well, yeah, it'll need to come down from here. So it'll need to come down like, like that. And now that can feed into the system too. Okay. So not bad. Not bad. I think that'll help us balance it pretty well. So let's fast deliver this. So now we just need to deliver that water. It looks like the water pipe is established and we have water in it. So let's test it out. Let's see if we go like this and hook you up there, should be able to hook you up there, hook you up there and hook you up here and hook you up there and you up. That's creative. How about uh, like this? Cool. And then we can unity build hopefully that one, that one and that one and that one. Okay. That should get an adequate supply of water delivered, I believe. Fairly adequate. Yep, it's gonna flow right through. If we unpause this, it will begin collecting water. Very nice. Water's built up, ready to go. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And then um, these ones are gonna start making steam right away. Now, there's no place for it to go at the moment. The exhaust is going through here. I would like to reroute all of this exhaust like the same. So um, the exhaust pipes, what we currently have is kind of a mess here. I don't like this. So I'm going to clean this up while we, while we can. We're going to take, get rid of all of this, get rid of all of this, uh, get rid of all of this too. Let's just junk this whole thing. Throw it out the window, man. Throw it on the ground. Yep. Right there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And, you know, again, I want this to be as clean as possible. I mean, it, it's not going to be as clean as possible. I mean, clearly, I'm not doing this as clean as possible. But um, this pipe, you'll see what I'm saying. I want this, this process to be clean. Let's do this with type pipe one. Um, we'll go, I think level two is going to work. I think level two works. Yeah, level two should be fine. Um, unless this is already at level two. Oh, that is. Okay, we'll go level one from here then. Can we just go level one? I mean, it does dip there, but kind of doesn't matter, right? That's fine. Or we do two after this point. No, because a lot of this stuff is at two already. Now we need to go like this. Okay, and then um, I'd like it to actually go alongside the extra pipe here, but... Yeah, up to level two. I would really like this to be at level two. The problem with trying to get this to level two though is that I can't go... Oh, these are at level three. Oh, good. Never mind then. Pro tip here. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet. Pro tip, um, if you want to put the pipe right next to this, like let's say I have this at height three, right? And I want to... Can you, can you please go to height three? There. And then I want to have this pipe be right alongside this, right? It's not going to let me do it because these junction points are here, right? Every time you combine pipes and connect them like this, it's going to make these. I wish I could shut these off. And maybe I can. Maybe there's a way to do that. Maybe I can just hit this button. Nope, there isn't. Anyway, to, to get this pipe to be exactly alongside here, the only way to fix this, unfortunately, is to completely remove this junction uh, and the corresponding pipes that are, that are connected to it. Right? Now, I'm just going to do it here for effect so you can see what I mean. So I would like these pipes to be right next to each other, so. And this one, too. Okay. So, we'll remove these. All of these. Like so. Then, what you're going to do is we'll take our level two pipe that we want. Oh, well, it needs to be level three, I guess. So like, do we do it level three anyway, since we're already doing this? It's for effect. I'm just gonna show you, right? So we can now take and make this right alongside, right? We don't have to worry about it anymore. Maybe I will make this level three. Doesn't look too bad. Come on now. What? Every time I click it changes, there it goes. So now I can then reconnect all of these. Oh my God, what are you doing? No. This thing wants to change. Every time I click, it just adjusts. Now I can have them all clean. And um, and then 
do it again, right? Then put them where they need to go. So in this case, you would put them... Is this where they were? Were they hooked up right there? That's not where they were, was it? Really? Hold on. That is where they are, isn't it? Yeah, it was just at a different... It was at a weird angle before. It wasn't straight in. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, that is kind of straight in, I guess, but okay. Anyway, we'll go like that. Uh, and then now that you have these junctions, but at least you have the pipe in and you could have it right alongside. So it's a little annoying. I do wish I could cancel these connections just by clicking it and saying off and then it would turn that off and then I could put the pipe right next to it. That would be very favorable as a feature request, I suppose. But um, it just isn't something that I can uh, that I can like control or do right now. Uh, anyway, so um, we'll go ahead and rebuild these. <clears throat> and I guess I will probably just make this pipe level 3 now that I can. I mean, it's, it's already right here and laid in, so... Yeah, so let's get the exhaust to come from here. We'll go up to level 3. Uh, at least I thought I would. I was thinking about it. I, don't, I guess I'm not, I'm not really sure if I will. Because, you know, it's not really up to me. Half the time. There it goes. Uh, and then we'll connect to here. It's like I have to go around these. Yeah, I have to go around those connection points. Ugh. Do I want to fix this? Do I make this? Do I make this right, guys? Is it really... Is it worth it? It's not, right? Just tell me it isn't worth it and I won't do it. Too late. You didn't tell me in time. See? Look what you've done. Look what you made me do. I don't want to do that. Look what you made me do. You made this happen. This is your fault. All right. You're gone. You're gone. And you're gone. Let's take this. Yep. Take this pipe. Wrap it right to there. Oh, don't do... Th why? Why you do this? Why you got to be this way? Hmm? Why can't you just... Why can't we just coexist? Can we, can we just be friends, please? We go reconnect it and we'll go ahead and build this part too because it's our exhaust pipe we need to get that up asap and then i can get again they'll get the water brought in from here down and from here down okay good i think we're good now all right now the exhaust pipe from here i believe yep this exhaust pipe needs to come up and meet up with this too We'll do that. That's fine. This one needs to come up and meet up with it too. And that's where it will be there. So we'll connect that. Let's connect that. And good. So this exhaust pipe now has all of these guys connected to it. It's going to carry the exhaust all the way over to here. Now this one is handling carbon dioxide. This one is handling exhaust. So I want to connect this big one here to this side and go over the top. That's fine. Um, is that getting in anything else's way? I don't think so. It may in the future. That's creative. I think I'll just, I think this is my best chance of not being in anything else's way. So, okay. So we're going to dump the exhaust into this. And now all of these are now exhausting to this and you can see it go off right away. So I, uh, and then I can just connect to that top pipe there and away we go. Cool. Cool. Okay. Before I lose my voice, let's get this thing, stupid thing running. Um, I believe I've got all the pieces connected for the steam and the steam is routed with redundancy to various different places already too. So I think we're good. Um, if I turn this on, we should see the steam start coming in. And it should start creating. Very good. Same thing with this one. And um, no, not same thing with this one because the oil was truck delivered here. It is not being brought here directly. So I do need to quick deliver this pipe now. Look at this oil. Oh, it doesn't it feel good, guys? Look at this. Oh, it's a giant tank of oil and it's full. And this is not. <laughs> but at least it's not an oil backup now. All right. So this oil comes all the way through here and now it gets dispersed. It'll go through here and it'll get into here 
and um, honestly once this is delivered it'll go that way too but we should get oil into here now and there it is and there's oil okay medium oil is now output as well as heavy oil right so we can address the heavy oil thing um actually i already have it's going through here heavy oil comes up comes around this pipe all the way over we've already programmed that to then kick the heavy oil this way which then goes into these and they can start creating steam now as well so we should see the heavy oil start to get pushed into these and we should start seeing that go up there we go so we'll start using that for additional steam now for this <clears throat> um the steam has to make it here and i'm not sure it is yet it, it is okay good it, i mean it should be the whole system is connected to where it will so yeah and then so now both of these supplies are delivered and ready to rock so we'll just go ahead and p1 this and p1 this so we can get both of these machines working all the time because this is my fuel supply okay all right so there we go so these will now these will now work and we're going to start creating diesel now for the diesel we actually have to go two different places okay first the light oil has to come out because if that gets backed up then it won't kick the fuel out we've already routed the fuel pipe so we don't have to worry about that and uh same thing here this uh this is the fuel coming out this so both of these that are built are sending it through this pipe which sends it over to here which then sends it over here and gets it right into this tank perfect um so the light oil is the only thing i need to do now we're gonna need a tank for this um eventually we'll be using the light oil but i think for now we'll we'll get a tank and um i probably should get some sort of i mean we'll probably instantly use this light oil so because you use it for naphtha right so why don't we do something like we could do something like this we'll say that this tank is going to go in front here okay we'll get the pipes for this to go out over uh we don't need them to be level two though do we how much are you kicking out 12 every 60 seconds no we're, we're fine so let's make this a tier one pipe that goes like this and i'll just do another tier one pipe that's fine whatever like that okay so these two pipes will kick it into here um no no not quite yet what we want to do is we want to put this into a pipe balancer which we can place here i guess is fine sure um and then we'll just have you go in like that and go in like that and then come out like that and i guess maybe here it's fine it doesn't matter but here's the thing um no i want only one out okay so let's build all of these let's get this unity right here right all this is unity built hopefully and um we'll control this to where the priority is to the tank right but in the event that the tank cannot be filled we want to burn it i mean i don't want to but i have to um if i can't if i can't do anything with it i have to burn it so we'll put this let's put the flare like right here and we'll we'll say it's like right yeah right here it's fine and we'll do like a really small pipe like this done okay this gets built and this gets built so again this is priority so they always should put it this way first but if they can't fill this then it will burn and you know what that's all right i guess it'll have to be fine um and so obviously this is going to fill up really quickly but the purpose of this is to keep this system in place like this so that when we do distillation stage three it can be right here and i can keep all this the way it is if i'm overflowing a naphtha i just burn it and we use the supply that's in this tank yeah that's what it's going to have to be let's get some more population and also i think i want to ah uh, i have a lot of gold actually you know what let's raise our reputation here uh with these guys and also we're still sitting over here with our boat so let's bring these guys back too um we'll raise our population our reputation with these guys so that i can uh you know bring them in and we're homeless and we're homeless and we're homeless oh you know what i should have done is upgrade i can do that too let's just upgrade houses too we'll upgrade this house and then screw it we'll upgrade this house too while we have the parts it's not that much to ask right giving people quality living is that too much to ask there we go 760 
And we now have population support for 820 people. That's pretty good. Uh, for now, that'll do. Trash buildup, non-existent. Uh, we're providing electricity okay. Looks good. And water's still good. Is water is the water still fine? Water seems to be holding up pretty nicely. We can always tell by this tank, actually. All I have to do is look at this tank. And, you know, honestly, if this tank is good... Oh, yeah, all these tanks are good, too. Let's upgrade that tank, because I can. And then let's upgrade this tank, because we can as well. We'll get that one upgraded, too. Okay. So we're just going to, you know, keep people safe. Make sure they have the supplies they need. 99% on the maintenance. Very good. We're kicking out these things really fast. Uh, we're actually blowing through regular construction parts way too quickly. So we'll go ahead and remove the boost on this. And then I think I want to keep at least, let's say, 72 regular construction parts in here. Um, if I can. Which, it doesn't look like the belts actually pay attention to that. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't pay attention to that anyway. I was hoping that the belts would only, like the storage would stay and then it would start feeding the access over this number. Not the case. So um, now we're to the point where we just have to make more regular construction parts, right? So why don't we upgrade you over time, I guess. Um, and we can actually start thinking about upgrading these to electric too as well with the red construction parts, but we have to get into, um, we have to get into making steel for that. And I want to make sure we're good on fuel before we make steel. So we're really good on this so far <laughs> for now. Let's go ahead and turn on the rubber again. Okay. This is all being made. It's all looking beautiful. The sour water is getting dumped. So we're getting pollution. Great. Water pollution. Big deal. <laughs> uh, man, do I want to be able to do something with that sour water right now? Uh, there just isn't, there isn't anything I can do with sour water. Yeah. Only thing I have is a waste product and I can dump it. Eventually, of course, I can make, you know, sulfur, acid, uh, oh, sorry, ammonia. I can use that, um, you know, make the sulfur to get acid and stuff. But really, sour water is just a big byproduct. Eventually, I'll use it for ammonia, but that's, that's kind of it. So we should start burning light oil in a little second here. Really unfortunate, but there it goes. We're now burning light oil. Yikes. Okay. But it is, it is working. It is working, and we can see fuel is a thing. It feels amazing. It almost feels like we have to... Yep. It feels like we should upgrade the storages. That's what it feels like, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to upgrade this one too because I feel cocky. <laughs> and you know again like the oil is flowing in which is great so if we don't want to do a whole lot with groundwater because this is all groundwater right here right and you can see these tanks are empty right so um i probably need a second pump but i can also help the pump and uh to help the pump what i could do if i'm really good on fuel as it looks like i'm starting to get really good on it what i could do is turn these two into the uh desalinator is instead they keep the same coal supply input which turns out is empty what oh that's not a, that's not good that's not good at all what's going on here are you guys just too far away this happens a lot and actually it looks like you're digging mostly rock right now yeah okay i'm gonna have to start digging down with coal um we're gonna do this uh next time i think let's go ahead and just kill this for a second and have them dig into this mountainside here for now because i know that there's coal here um we're gonna start digging down with with this so i'm gonna start looking at potentially getting the uh the walls i'm gonna get the wall set up let's edit this area to be about like that should be good to go and they should be doing more coal now instead of the dirt and stuff that we were doing before and then I think I'm going to put, yeah, just like another excavator or two on this just to kind of catch up. And then we're going to switch the priority on this where you are P2 and you are P3. Against my better judgment, I, I need to provide more coal on this side. So I guess I could always just have it be halvesies, but you have a good supply overage here. So 
Uh, yeah. Look at this. Guys, are you happy? Do you see? Do you see what I see? <laughs> I see fuel. Yeah, I see actual fuel. It's there. It's good. And you know what? We can upgrade this oil rig to bring in more. I think that's probably for the best as well, huh? I think it's probably better actually to find a cargo ship before we do that. But uh, yeah, I want to get my reputation up with that settlement. That's what we were doing. That's what I thought we were doing. Uh, load the ship for the settlement. There we go. And yeah, I think that's good. So uh, in the next video, I think I'm going to try to make my farms truckless. Get my get our conveyor belt system running in here. I actually have enough room, I think. We'll see. I think I actually have enough room to do the conveyor belts the way I need to do it. We're just going to go two different directions with them. And so I could move this farm one tile closer just to make it all nice and even. But I'm not going to do it. I'll, I'll leave it like this for the people who like space. And uh, we'll also go and leave one tile between these two and add another farm there. Okay. Okay. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys will like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, let me know what you think of this so far. huh? We're, we're doing okay. This is... I mean, we're, we were dire for quite a while <laughs> with fuel, especially, but I think this is the start of a new age where we can now take our time and really assess the situation. At least I'm hoping that's the case. We can really assess what we're up to here. And uh, you can see this right here and he's upgraded. I think so. Upgrade this just so we can get the waste out of here. We're sending a lot of wastewater this way. So there we go. That should help considerably. Let these things keep moving. Okay, I'm done. Thanks, guys. I'm going to go rest my voice. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.